Mississippi Gulf Coast could be getting some of the worst of the incoming tropical system. 12 News Alex Love joins us live from the Gulf Coast and explains how community members down there are preparing for the storm. Alex? Mississippi is preparing for the eighth named tropical storm system to be heading our way in 2020, and it's bringing a major storm surge that could put Highway 90 and dozens of other properties at risk. Our luck uh, may have run out since we dodged everything else. Less than 24 hours out from landfall, people in Gulfport are racing to stock up on groceries. There's a lot of people stocking up on water, all, you know, um, power boxes and things like that. Also, everybody is stocking up on gas. That's the number one thing. If it gets over category one, everybody starts to leave. I already have water left over from the last storm that was going to hit. Um, I usually pack up on little Debbie snacks some beer, you know, just a few things just to make sure that I'm all right. Harrison County has ordered mandatory evacuations for all marinas and school districts are closing early. Hancock County has issued voluntary evacuations for those in low-lying areas along the water and in mobile homes. We will have water on Highway 90. We do know that. Uh, it depends on how much rainfall also falls, uh, but we are under a flash flood watch. Unfortunately for us, We've got three high tides tomorrow. Boarding up the windows and, you know, just taking care of any anything that was laying down on the ground, making sure everything's secure in the garage and everything like that. Storm surge predictions are the highest along Hancock, Harrison, and Jackson County shorelines, coming in as high as eight feet on top of at least half a foot of rain, according to the National Weather Service. The southeast easterly winds have not been that great. They have been off and on today, we'll see that because it's starting to come in, it's starting to back into the bays. Authorities also say be on the lookout for tornadoes breaking off from Zeta as it heads further inland, taking about six hours to zip through the Gulf and Pine Belt. And Harrison County Emergency Management urges everyone on the Gulf Coast who plans to evacuate to do so during the daytime because at night when the worst of the storm comes, flying debris can catch you off guard. Reporting in Gulfport, Alex Love, 12 News.